What is going on everybody? Rodrigo's fishing channel. Back at it with another video. Today I will be um explaining to you guys my striped bass record breaker. I got I remember I promised to do this like a week ago or two, but I never did. So today's the day and I'm I will post this today. So but so I walk to the river to a place where there's dock there's a dock and I went on top of the dock, the big dock and I had two rods, two fishing rods and I'll show you the picture. Um I think I took a picture before leaving. So um I got to the river so I I got my trout set up ready so I just threw that one in. My um my striped bass set up I unhooked it, I got it right. So I just casted it out in there in the middle of the current and um I let it sink like for five seconds and that's it. And then I reeled in, I, I reeled in, I felt hard like a snag. I thought it was a snag, I was like oh I was like, uh-oh. So I just pulled it up as hard as I could. And I started reeling, and I felt, after, when I, when I pulled it up, I felt the, the fish. The rod was moving, and I felt the fish, um, trying to run. So I was like, oh, mom. I was like, mom, 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 I have a fish on. She was down there, and she went up to the dock, and... What's it called? Mm -hmm. I let I let my reel um I let him run. I let him run. I took a little bit um of the tension so he started running and I didn't let him run that much but I did. So I, so he, I let him run for a little bit, like one minute or so and so I pulled it I put it hard so it won't move that much so I started reeling and i didn't see nothing it was it was on the bottom i, I let a little bit of spool a uh, little just so if it runs it could pull the line anyways so i kept on bringing it in nothing until he was by the side i, I pulled it and he came up i saw him and he was he looked he looked like a pretty big one like that a small first but um um so he went back down there and so um, I just kept on pulling. And so since the current goes that way, it helps me. I was I was reeling in, and I let him go a little bit, and I got him all the way to the end of the dock, walking. And um, he was still fighting, so I pulled him in to the shore where there's no current. The dock is just right there this water so I pulled him in there uh, he kept on fighting and what's it called so I just pulled him just pulled him dragged him all the way around at the end of the video no not at the end but somewhere around the middle I guess I let him fight I turned my loot my drag loose and I let him um, take off a little bit I was just playing around with him just to remember that moment and once I felt he was tired enough he flipped he flipped so I could see his whole body that was when you could see his whole body and he was like that big 20 inch striped bass and so I just dragged him since he was tired I dragged him all the way to the other end and last year I had a bigger one than that, but I called this one my PB because the other one I basically I basically caught and didn't catch at the same time because it popped off. So that's my PB, my new PB. I named it my PB, and so I just dragged him out. Um, there's two people, a lady and some other man. Um, they were watching me and stuff. I was like, don't pull. It. Don't pull him up. I was like, yeah, I'm not. I remember what happened last year. So, um, 
At last, he holding my rod. I was like, "You can you hold my rod, please?" And he said, "Yeah." Um, so I went down there to the to the water shore. I got that fish. And, um, I caught him the first time we got him. It was pretty cool. And I just walked up and I showed the fish like that because the hooks. I couldn't get the mouth because the hooks. And that, by the way, the lure he ate the whole thing at first. And at last, he kind of spit it out, and the hooks were still inside him, though. And you can see in the video, I threw that was the first cast. So, as you see in the video, it is probably like six inches, around six inches there. He ate this whole thing. He was a 20 inch, and he ate this whole six inch bait. There you go. So, sorry about that, I forgot to mention the name of this in the video. So, it's a Storm Wild Eye Stalker Trout. You could find it at Walmart. Um, I glued the eyes on. Because last time the other ones fell off. And I lost my bait. What's it called? He ate this whole thing in the middle of the current. The first cast, when it sinked down like that, I guess I know. So, um, right, what was I on? So, the lure, it was basically the paint falling off, and he, um, made it more fall off. The third day I was fishing with that same lure, um, I got it stuck and it popped off. It didn't pop off, I had to cut it because I couldn't get it out. So, yeah, that's my story there. I never... I never believed catching one with this, but I still have had the. I still, I still thought I was gonna catch one. So that was a pretty cool one, pretty big fish. My whole family got to eat a part of my of the fish. I cooked them up, and I cooked the other fish too. I had in the freezer. I got a cool crib coming around too. Probably somewhere around, probably next week I'll post it, or this week, I don't know. I don't know, um, but could we reach 10 likes on this video? Hopefully we could. Please leave a like right now if you're watching. And I was inspired by Mr. Phil to record the fish. My mom, thanks to my mom, she recorded that whole video. So, yeah, after that, I just... Went home walking, and that's it. That's all I had. So, Rodrigo's fishing channel open out and peace. That thing's big. Yeah. There he is. Wow. Woo. That's a nice trap there.